This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by Coastal Hospice and Palliative Care. 16 years. Imagine what you can accomplish in 16 years. For the president of Coastal Hospice, Elaine Capon, she has spent the last 16 years leading a team providing care, comfort, and companionship for families and their loved ones at a time when those families need it the most. But the time has come for Elaine to call it a career and what a career it's been. And we are so happy to have Elaine with us today. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. It's great to be here. Yeah, so how are you feeling about all this? Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm in a little bit of denial, but excited. Excited for what's going to come with hospice in its next chapter. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we know that a lot of the people that, um, that you have worked with, that you have helped, that you have touched, have touched your life in Indeed. very special ways. And we know that uh, we're not asking you to reveal names or details, but can you kind of share with us a story or two of some of them that meant the most to you? Absolutely. Um, I think some, you know, this is about the community in our four counties. And some of the things that will really stick with me forever is serving patients on Smith Island and how the team has to take the boat over and meet the lady with the golf cart to go and do their visit and come back. Another gentleman um, was a motorcycle enthusiast and he had too much pain from his cancer that he wasn't able to get up and out of his house and his life goal was to get on his motorcycle one more time and we were able to get his pain controlled and get him feeling to the point where he actually got on his motorcycle. We have a beautiful picture of him. Um, and he got to tour around his neighborhood oh. one last time. Those, oh. those are the stories. Uh, you know, I've, I've collected a ton of them over the years, oh, yeah. but those are the kinds of stories that stick with me. You also have a, a few milestones under your belt, and uh, one that uh, stands out the most, I think, is the Stancil House. Absolutely. That is, um, you know, and I have to give thanks to the board that helped guide through that too, but uh, that is a wonderful facility. You know, during COVID, we were one place where families could still visit safely and have, they designated, you know, these are the three, maybe four people that are most important for for each patient to visit. The patient determined who was most important. And then we were able to screen and test those folks and allow them to come in and visit. Yeah. Some incredible accomplishments. Yeah. So, retirement. Yeah. Big plans for retirement? <laughs> I have some. Uh, one is I'm gonna spend more time with my horses. Um, I'm entertaining some volunteer uh, opportunities that I wanna stay involved in the community. Yeah. All right. Well, before we let you go, we have a little something up our sleeves. Uh-oh. <laughs> Should I be scared? Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. No, no. Uh, it's, it's just a way um, some people in the community have come together and have something to say to you. Oh. So take a look. Oh, oh. Elaine Capon dedicated 16 years of her career to growing Coastal Hospice. Elaine, our community is so lucky to have you. We are especially proud of the partnership between Tidal Health and Coastal Hospice to expand access to palliative care. We'll be sure to be great stewards of the program that you help create. Happy retirement. On behalf of the Community Foundation, thank you for the difference that you have made in our community. You have been our go-to expert for anything hospice related and we wish you all the best in your next chapter. Elaine, it has been an absolute privilege and honor to be a member of the board during your time as president. The legacy that you have left behind for all the patients and families, all the services that we've provided, all the community partnerships that you have created, and of course the spirit that you have brought to work each and every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and congratulations on your retirement. Elaine, as you know, the path to creating Stancil House was long and frequently bumpy, but you never lost sight of what we could do to create something beautiful for patients and their families when they needed it most. Thank you for that. Congratulations. I will miss many things when you retire, Elaine, from our quick hallway conversations to brainstorming solutions and many, many more. And I know a lot of other people will as well. Your mentorship has meant a lot to all of us, and we will miss you. You lift people up, and now it's your turn to rise. Happy retirement. I want to thank you for being willing to think outside the box, for dreaming of and supporting 
new programs like our free Compass program. I want to thank you that by your imagination, you've been able to support thousands of people in our community. So have a great retirement and may your days ahead be greater than your days behind. Thank you, Elaine. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my Some goodness. Some good people there. I might not have worn mascara. Had it. Don't <laughs> you, <make> you, cry. <laughs> you have met a lot to uh, a lot of people over the years. It has been such an honor for me to be here and in this community. This community is so generous and so warm. It's just been an incredible place. Also, we want to let everyone know that that your job is being left in good hands. You mentioned Monica. Yes, Monica Escalante comes with 20 years of hospice experience. Um, I've known her through work in committees with, on a state level. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think uh, she will be the, the energy and enthusiasm to continue to take hospice to the next level and serve the community Yeah, in more right. ways. Elaine Capen, president of Coastal Hospice, at least for a little while longer. Thank you for being here and oh, enjoy your you retirement. Thank you so very much. Thank you. I'm going to miss you. Thank you so much. I'm going to miss you.